In a previous video I tried to find out what the inductance of this uh, little coil was right here by using my multifunction tester. And my multifunction tester didn't like it. It just reports it back as approximately 20 ohm uh, resistor. So not an inductor at all according to this thing. So I had to figure out a different method or use a different method. And the first method I tried was the parallel uh, method. I paralleled this inductor up with this 1% um, tolerance capacitor and uh, used a resonant frequency method to figure out what was uh, what was the value of this guy. And we did the calculation and it came out uh, 2.56 millihenries. Uh, I then did a different method which was the ringing method using the square wave from uh, the oscilloscope uh, probe output compensation square wave and would ding the parallel combination here and see what it would resonate at and again came up with uh, 2.56 millihenries. So I thought this time I would, I finally got a hold of, or at least for a little while I've got a loan of a, um, an LCR meter here and I was going to hook that inductor up across this guy and we'll see what it tells us and it gives us another just another measurement again and we see that this comes out to uh, two call it 2.54 millihenries so pretty close to our 2.56 that we measured that gives us some confidence in the uh, the measurements that we made uh, and if we look in the book here we are on the 10 kilohertz frequency this does multiple test frequencies but on the 10 kilohertz frequency under the 20 uh, millihenry range here it's a 1.2 percent we'll call it that 1.2 percent and uh, so that's that's pretty pretty close so the the this kind of validates the methods the two previous methods that we used if we if we trust this meter right here it, this all gives us confidence in our our measurements because they all kind of jive with each other and they're pretty darn close and i thought i would just also try the one uh, percent uh, resist or um, capacitor here and recall this is a 0.01 microfarad, so 10 nanofarads. So this tells us it's 9. Point, call it 9.97 nanofarads. So again, more confidence uh, building in our in our situation in our in our method that we've already done. So confidence is an important thing, and we we try to figure out what works and what doesn't. Anyways, so this is pretty close, and I, I'm pretty happy with the measurements that we've got off of these.